I'm Stephanie. And I'm Kristen. And today we are making pretzel peanut butter bars. And one of my most favorite things about these is that you don't have to use an oven. They are yes. no bake. The best part of cooking <laughs> exactly. is not having to use an oven. Okay, so first we're going to take some melted butter. It's about a stick and a half or a three-fourths cup of butter. Um, we have two cups of peanut butter here and she's just going to take about half of it. So it's about one cup of peanut butter. There. And then let's do our pretzels next. Okay. So we have about two cups of pretzels, but we're gonna do we're gonna save some to put on the top on the top of them. <laughs> it'll work, it'll work. And then we have This is usually how our cooking goes. Yeah, anyway. it usually does. In the yeah. oven, it's in the kitchen it's crazy here. Okay, then we're gonna stick in our powdered sugar. So we have about two cups of powdered sugar. Just wanna make sure all your pretzels are covered. We'll let you mix that for a little bit before we add our chocolate chips. Mm. I love anything that's no bake and peanut butter with chocolate in it. I could eat it all day long. That's <laughs> true. And they're popular recipes too. <laughs> we make a lot of things that are peanut butter and no bake. Because you can't go wrong. Okay. I think we're good. Let's add in. Some chocolate chips? Yep, let's stick in the chocolate chips. And it's looking a little gooey, so I'm gonna actually throw in a little bit more powdered sugar. I added another cup of powdered sugar just to give it a little more thickness. Thicken it up. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want it to be too runny, otherwise it won't set up. Okay, so. Then you're gonna stick it in by either an eight by eleven or a nine by nine pan would work just fine. So you want to spray the pan, and then you're going to just pour it on. Yeah, I'll help you. Hold Thank it. you. It's heavier. Than it's I always easier with two people to scrape out a bowl. But... All okay. right. So once you get it in there, you're just gonna spread it out flat. And you can use a smaller pan if you want, if you want thicker bars, or if you want really thin bars, you could use a 9x13 pan. But I like this thickness by using an 8x11. Alright, okay. Ready for our next step? Yes! Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to melt our chocolate chips and our peanut butter together in the microwave. So I'm going to do that, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so I am back and I melted the chocolate chips and peanut butter together. So it was about a cup and a half of chocolate chips and about a half a cup to three-fourths cup of peanut butter together. Okay, so we're just going to pour this right over the top of it. Sorry about the kids screaming in the back. We're mom. Okay, we're just going to spread this out. It's like a really good frosting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's better chocolate frosting. Right. Then, once you've got it covered, you can sprinkle your leftover pretzels on top. Just for a little extra crunch. And because it looks good. <laughs> Why she's finishing that up, you'd put it in the fridge for about an hour to two hours or until it's set up. You can also stick it in the freezer and it will set up a lot faster. And thank you so much for joining us today. Um, if you want to check out other recipes that we have, you can go to sixsisterstuff.com.